Understanding ISF Requirements Types of Cargo Subject to ISF Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will explore the various types of cargo that are subject to ISF requirements. Understanding the scope of ISF is vital for complying with international trade regulations and ensuring the smooth flow of goods across borders. So, let's dive right in. Before we dive into the specific types of cargo subject to ISF requirements, let's quickly recap what ISF is all about. ISF, short for International Security Filing, is a regulation implemented by the U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, to enhance global trade security. ISF requires importers and vessel operators to provide important shipment information to CBP before goods are loaded onto a vessel bound for the United States. This filing must be completed no later than 24 hours prior to vessel departure. Now let's explore the types of cargo that fall under ISF requirements. ISF applies to virtually all commercial cargo shipments entering the United States, with only a few exceptions. Types of cargo subject to ISF Commercial goods. All non-exempt cargo being imported or exported for commercial purposes is subject to ISF requirements. This includes a wide range of products, such as electronics, textile items, machinery, and consumer goods. Whether you are importing or exporting commercial goods, it is essential to comply with ISF by submitting the necessary information accurately and within the specified time frame. Consolidated shipments. Consolidated cargo shipments, where multiple goods from different shippers are combined into a single container, are subject to ISF. Each individual shipment within the consolidated container must have its own ISF filing. For consolidated shipments, each importer, or their authorized agent, must prepare and file the ISF for their respective goods. Accurate information about each shipment within the consolidated container is crucial for customs authorities to ensure security and facilitate efficient trade. Break bulk cargo. Break bulk cargo refers to goods that are transported individually and not in shipping containers. These include oversized machinery, vehicles, and project cargo. Each piece of brake bulk cargo subject to ISF requirements must have its own filing. Brake bulk cargo requires specific ISF filing, and it's important to take into account the unique characteristics and transportation requirements of these goods. Ensuring compliant filings for brake bulk shipments contributes to a well-managed global trade system. Goods in transit. Although goods that are solely in transit through the United States may not be intended for consumption within the country, they are also subject to ISF requirements. Any cargo passing through U.S. ports or being transported by U.S. carriers must comply with ISF regulations. Even if your cargo is not destined for the United States and will be transported through the country without a customs entry, it is still mandatory to file an ISF. These transit filings help customs authorities keep track of goods passing through their ports and maintain security. Non-containerized cargo. Cargo transported without the use of a shipping container, such as bulk goods like grains, liquids, or gases, also falls under the scope of ISF requirements. Each non-containerized shipment must have its own ISF filing. Whether you are importing bulk goods or liquids, it's crucial to file the ISF accurately and on time. Meeting the ISF requirements for non-containerized cargo ensures compliance with trade regulations and aids in the efficient movement of goods. And there you have it. We've explored the various types of cargo subject to ISF requirements. From commercial goods to consolidated shipments and brake bulk cargo, Understanding how ISF applies to different types of cargo is essential for importers, exporters, and trade professionals. By adhering to the ISF regulations, we contribute to global trade security and ensure the seamless movement of goods across borders. Remember, 
accuracy, timeliness, and compliance are the pillars of successful ISF filing. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative and helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on international trade. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated. Until next time, happy trading!